If you were on the jury or one of the loved ones caught up in a very controversial murder trial and a witness brought new video evidence forward, should you ignore it or would you want to see it yourself? And that's the way you should be approaching 911. When the Columbia came in at 17,500 miles per hour and tore itself apart, search and rescue crews found 40% of the shuttle. Over 80,000 pieces of Columbia was officially recovered. 80,000 pieces. But 0% from Flight 93 in Shanksville on September 11, 2001. And it was only traveling at 500 miles per hour, not 17,500 miles per hour like the shuttle. They found more than 2,000 different debris fields from the space shuttle Columbia. They never found any wreckage from Flight 77 at the Pentagon. It was a bigger plane and only traveling at 500 miles per hour. NASA carefully cataloged nearly 84,000 pieces of Columbia that they recovered. Each piece is individually numbered and cataloged and you needed a 7,000 square foot room to host that wreckage. Searchers also found human body parts from the Columbia that was traveling at 17,500 miles per hour when it slammed into Earth, including arms and hands. But they never even found a wedding ring from Flight 77 at the Pentagon. Uh, there are no large uh, tail sections, wing sections, uh, a fuselage, nothing like that anywhere around. They found feet, torsos, hearts, belonging to the Columbia crew, but they never even found a sneaker from Flight 93 in Shanksville. Columbia's flight data recorder was found near Hemphill, Texas on March 19, 2003 and worked perfectly. They found the frames of the Columbia crew cockpit windows. They found a cabin hatch on your left and, and the space hatch tunnel on your right. They found the left and right sides of the vertical stabilizers. They found the RCS thrusters on your left and the OEX data recorders on your right. They found the leading edge panels on your left and the computer parts on your right from the shuttle. They found the landing gear, the main on your left, and the nose gear on your right. These are still in reasonably good shape. They were traveling at 17,500 miles an hour. Not like Flight 77 and Flight 93, they were only traveling at 500 miles an hour. That stuff atomized, they were told. The space shuttle at 17,500 miles per hour, the gear is still in good shape. You can see that yourself. They found all kinds of tiles on your left. What you see on your left is rows of storage boxes. These are big boxes. And that's their content on the right. Look at the fuel tanks on your left that they found. Look at the Columbia's nose on the right side. They found all of this from a smaller plane traveling at 17,500 miles per hour, but they can't find anything from Flight 93 or Flight 77. They were only traveling at 500 miles per hour. No bodies, no seats, no luggage, no wings, no tail, no engines, no wheels, no computers, no nothing, zero results. Let's have a quick look at the Pentagon. This is before the collapse. The plane is said to went right in there. So look at the line. Do you see any plane parts anywhere? Any skid marks? Remember, they recovered 84,000 pieces of the shuttle. Look to the right of this. Did anything fly over that way? Still no plane. And notice how the rescuers are not using rescue equipment. And they're not running for life-saving equipment. Remember, the Pentagon has not collapsed. That happened around 30 minutes after the event. Uh, there's no evidence of a plane having crashed anywhere near the Pentagon. Look at this trailer on fire to the right. But notice the fence in front of it. Let's look at the collapse. This is fascinating. Use the truck as a reference for how big this is. Remember the plane was over 120 feet wide from wing to wing. Now look at the rubble from the collapse on the ground behind the truck. Now look at the windows intact. Then consider they are new bomb proof windows that the Pentagon just installed. That section was just renovated and those windows are $10,000, tax dollars, each. Look at the left side of the collapse. That is the same section that was recently bomb-proofed. Cement is perfect. You see a perfectly clean break. No beams are broken. No slices. They were never connected. By the way, that's illegal to build a building like that. 
because it has no strength. In this section, 31 accountants died, and all their computers were destroyed. It's the same accountant as Donald Rumsfeld referred to the day before in a press conference that $2.3 trillion was missing from the Pentagon, double what they spent in Iraq and Afghanistan. There is evidence of thermite at the Twin Towers for sure. Look at the 45 degree angles all the way across the building. This is a picture the LA Times published in 2010. And super high definition, you can zoom way in. But the first thing you notice is straight line right across the whole thing. But if you look careful, you'll notice that on every second one I got here, these girders are 39 inches apart. Every other skyscraper was 20 to 25 feet apart. They built the World Trade Center, so it was 39 inches apart. It was wrapped in steel. And look at the 45 degree angles right across that straight line, but look at the 45 degree angles. As you look in on this picture, you can zoom way in. You can see how high quality this is. But that's not thermite evaporating this. It's not explosives, because we don't see the puff of energy, or sparks, or flying debris explosives make. We see a lightning fast evaporation of a 700 foot high steel tree, like a kettle. Like magic. The best thing to do is show this 20 second clip of the second tower falling to the left. I made a 45 degree red line so you can spot it. Now watch that part of the tower fall over because it was higher. And keep that in mind when I show you the next part. To the left is building 7 that fell later in the day. 47 stories high or say 470 feet high building for context alongside of the falling tower. The piece to the right then would have to be around 700 feet high or so. It's as thick as a tree. Think of the base of a big tree. Now count that part of the building falling with me. 1001, 1002, 1003. You can't get to three seconds without it disappearing. Not falling over, but evaporating. And I don't see thermite or explosives. I see something we have never witnessed before. A 700 foot steel tree evaporates like steam from a kettle. And this is true from any angle. Lower Manhattan, uh, it is likely one would assume that uh, because of the worry that disrupting the financial markets could be worse uh, than, shutting, uh, than, than letting them open up and respond to the situation that tomorrow may be the only day on which uh, the various exchanges are closed. That remains to be seen and there will be a decision tomorrow. When the towers fell, another remarkable thing is they never went down to the bathtub. I'll show you a clip just below the first floor of the Twin Towers. Here they are. That's right under that area. It's a little bit punched in down here, but you can read Innovation Luggage Hallmark Cards just after 9-11. Listen to the echo in this audio clip. Going down to the parking garage. We're in quite deep. These are the first pictures of search crews underneath the World Trade Center desperately looking for survivors. That's not a collapsed parking garage. That's not even a full parking garage. It's an empty parking garage. It's empty. So the towers never went down there. You see almost 1,400 cars and trucks and buses and ambulances, not crushed, but melted. And with the paint burnt off them, over a half a mile away. And we don't see no burnt bodies. We don't see the carnage that goes with 1,400 vehicles. And the objects around them are not burned. Well, that leaves only one thing. And it's not thermite, it's not nuclear weapons. It's an energy weapon or an advanced laser set to resonate with metal, not paper or humans. And as I covered in my last video, that's how advanced laser weapons or energy weapons work. You can set the frequency. Because Norman Mineta was captured on video saying Dick Cheney refused three times to stop the event at the Pentagon. The flight you're referring to is the... The one flight that came into the Pentagon. Pentagon. Yeah. Uh, during the time that the airplane coming in to the Pentagon, 
there was a young man who would come in and say to the vice president, the, the plane is 50 miles out, the plane is 30 miles out. And when it got down to the plane is 10 miles out, uh, the young man also said to the vice president, do the orders still stand? And uh, the vice president turned and whipped his neck around and said, of course the orders still stand. Have you heard anything to the contrary? I'm not really sure if you need any more evidence than that. But just in case, I got some more.